come to talk to you today about my mama. But I can't really say nothing about my mama to say something about your mama. So let me just start with your mama. Your mama is the greatest family member you'll ever experience. Oh, your father's cool, your brother and sisters might be all right, but your mama is a shit. Let me tell you something. Your mama believed in you before you believed in your damn self. And for many of us, mama is the first god any of us ever knew. Oh, you got these people calling themselves your ride or die friend. Getting in some trouble. See if you can find them. Your mama is going to stick with you through thick or thin. You can kill them. I'm not talking about no accident. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm talking about her on purpose. Yeah, cut them up, up in a million pieces. Make a lampshade out their backbone. Your mama will be the one in court with your crazy head. She holding the Bible. That's my baby. My baby didn't do that. You don't know my baby. Mm, that was not my baby. My mother is my first hero, and she's my greatest hero. My mama came to the show when you mother was off and come. Wouldn't be but six people in the room, and my mother would be here. She'd sit over there and laugh for a while. She'd get up, move over there, sit down, laugh. Get up, move over there, sit down, laugh. Get up, move over there, sit down, laugh. Made this shit feel like a crowd. Anybody born and raised as an only child? Rough. My mother was 16 when she had me. She was in the 12th grade, I was in the first. She'd be up in her 12th grade class. I come out my baby class. Now we ain't in the school fighting the fish. We go home, we on punishment, we on bunk beds. I'm on the top, she on the bottom. She looked down at me like, you good? I'm like, no, nah, we on punishment. Every time I found a boo, she want a boo for her. I'm like, wait a minute. I said, you know, when you get old, I'm gonna put you in a nursing home. She like, you right behind me, heifer. I'm like, this is this fair. Did you get remember? You have company, your mother called you to the kitchen. Robert, come in the kitchen. <laughs> come, out to, come out the kitchen two minutes later. My mother said, we about to eat and you gotta leave. <laughs> Bye. You gotta go now. We gonna eat in front of you. <laughs> you gotta leave with dignity. Oh, you ready to leave anyway. <laughs> with an old school recipe in your mom. She had a remedy for everything, right? You come to her with an ailment, she starts boiling and mixing bushing thing in the pot. <laughs> Talking about, I'll cure that. I get a stuffy nose. She said, come now. Sniff the tea from the boiling bushing thing, son. It helped, I felt better. I get a sore throat. She said, come now. Sip the tea from the ball and bullshit team, son. It helped. I felt better. Some years went by. I'm raising a family of my own. I start suffering from stress and anxiety. I called my mom. She said, come now. Time to smoke the bullshit team, son. <laughs> <laughs>